I honestly think that having a maternity leave that is this short, it, it makes you have to decide, do you want to be a mother to your children or do you want to pursue your career? The U.S. is the only advanced economy in the world that doesn't have federal paid leave for parents after they have a child. There is the Family and Medical Leave Act, but that allows for only 12 weeks of unpaid leave. I think we need to have a parental leave that allows women to establish themselves as mothers. I think we need an equivalent paternity leave. Obviously men aren't breastfeeding, but that doesn't prevent them from staying up at night with a baby. It doesn't prevent them from being equal parents to the mother to allow both parents to pursue careers. The problem is that FMLA only covers about 40% of U.S. workers. And in order to even be eligible, you need to work for a company with over 50 employees and have worked for them for at least one year. So low-wage workers often don't qualify. And you have to be able to afford to take time off with no pay. I'm not really interested in taking uh, unpaid leave. Being able to keep a steady income in our house uh, is important and that's a, a challenge facing many families. For those people who can't afford to take unpaid time off, I think it's unfair to allow these parents who are in really a fragile state after having their baby to have to decide between paying their bills or staying home with their child. Only three states offer additional benefits that allow parents to take more time off at a fraction of their salary. Studies have shown that paid parental leave leads to lower rates of postpartum depression and infant mortality. Parents with premature and at-risk babies especially struggle with the lack of parental leave. One in 10 babies were born preterm in 2014 in the US. That means that those moms had to begin using their parental leave early. With Hezekiah, he was born early. He was born at 29 weeks. My husband put his wedding ring through his arm and it went all the way up to his shoulder. He ended up on a ventilator for three months. He had two surgeries and he didn't come home until after his due date. He was born in January and came home in April. The idea of going back to work while my son was in the hospital still, having surgeries, I didn't even get to hold him until he was two weeks old. For dads, paternity leave has become more widely accepted in the last decade. Paternity leave is one of the most important times uh, that you have as a parent, that uh, as a father, you are there uh, with your newborn child that relies on other people, including you for absolutely everything. You're there supporting the mother of your child who uh, for a period of time is physically uh, not able to do much other than directly care for the baby. Despite the lack of paid parental leave laws in the U.S., there is some momentum happening around the issue. The state of New York, for example, has approved the most progressive state plan that will be fully implemented in 2021. Eligible workers will get 12 full weeks of paid leave along with job protection. Our family um, is not in a position where we can go with just one income. I've always thought of myself as a career woman. Um, I also think of myself as a mother and I love being a mother. It's been really hard to just kind of walk away um, during a time where I know that they need me the most. <laughs>